Looking for the cheapest coins on the internet right now? Look no further than my sponsor, Mutt Coin Bank, guys. You seriously cannot beat that value. I promise. Use code Poodle for 5% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over the brand new Rising Stars that we do have in game now. Off the rip, guys, one of the more disappointing things is that they are only 96 overalls. I'm not mistaken, I think the last ones were 95, so I don't know why they wouldn't knock these up to at least 97s. That would have made them pretty interesting. But I guess because they're supposed to be, you know, like they're supposed to be rising stars. And in theory, I guess they shouldn't be top tier players, right? Which is just kind of dumb because it's a fake game. And in, in this fake game, certain players could do things that they shouldn't actually be able to do in, you know, real life. You know what I mean? Like Jonathan Ogden being able to play quarterback, six foot eight level stuff. So, I mean, whatever. Point is, um, it's different, right? But anyways, 96 overall, I guess is okay. I mean, theme teams are going to probably love it. I mean, theme teams will probably get some, a kick out of some of these players. Not all. But of course, some. Now, if you guys hear any background noise, I do apologize. My house is getting resided in stone and everything, so not fun for me, I assure you. But hopefully, this mic doesn't really pick it up. It's kind of the point of it, but it's pretty loud. Um, anyways, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up as always. If you haven't already, comment down below. Let me know as we get through this who is your favorite rising star from the group of five. And of course, guys, if you need coins, heading over to Muck Coin Bank down below. And of course, use code Poodle for 5% off your order. Now, guys, Ronald Jones, 97 speed, 98 excel. It's actually really good. Going to be a great budget back. Um, he will be great in a theme team, of course. But he'll get 99 speed, right? So 97 agility, 89 carrying, 72 catching, 96 change of direction, 78 trucking, 88 break tackle. He's going to be one of the best budget backs, guys. He will get 99 speed and potentially 99 excel with like 99 agility uh, as a budget back, which is great. His carry is a little bit low, but... Fumbling Diffy this year. Change of directions already 96. That's pretty good. Catching 72. That's decent. Break tackle 88. It's decent. Gonna be a good, uh, you know, a good budget back. Pretty good in the uh, Buccaneers team team. Moving on though, guys. We got Debo Samuel for the uh, San Francisco 49ers. Now Debo Samuel had a, had a pretty decent year. You know, not, not he's, he's a, in, the player himself is good. It's just a matter of the volume and the offense. The offense is great. It's just that you know the offense doesn't isn't predicated around spamming a certain receiver. Or, you know, pack, you know, dropping back 40 times per game. Uh, with Debo Samuel, 97 speed. Great. 95 jumping is good. 30, uh, 93 catching, 91 catching traffic, 93 uh, spec, 91 short, 90 medium, 92 deep. So pretty much, guys, you're getting a speedster, 99 speed with all with all, uh, with all all thresholds. So that's not bad at all, actually. This card isn't horrible. Again, would you prefer 99 stats? Yes. But on a 49ers theme team, on a regular theme team, you know, on, on a budget squad, you're getting a 99 speed receiver who's all 90 catching and all 90 route running with good jumping. And if I'm not mistaken, you'll probably have some good after the catch ability as well, like juke, spin, trucking as well. So that's actually going to be a bad card overall. I think this card's actually pretty good. You know, like so far, the stats have been good, right? I prefer the overalls have been higher. The stats aren't bad. Robert Tanyan, tight end for the Packers. He had himself a little bit of a run this year. Had a pretty good year overall, but there was just a point in time where he was really just killing it uh, from a stat point of view. 91 speed. For a tight end, that's not horrible. I mean, again, on a Packers team team with sprint and everything, not going to be a bad card. 81 strength, that's not bad. 96 catching, that's good. 94 catching traffic is really good. 95 spec catch is really good. 93 short, 88 medium. So, yes, guys, with uh, play fake and everything, he will get 90 plus medium route running and 90 plus short running. So, that's going to be, he's going to be a route running monster, you know, in terms of, not monster, he's going to be a route running threshold guy, catching threshold guy. He's going to be a 93 speed tight end. On a Packers team team, he's going to be great. On a regular budget team, he's going to be okay. He'll be good. He won't be, you know, he won't be great. Darius Williams, cornerback for the Rams. Now, LA Rams, Darius Williams. You haven't, I feel like I've seen this card a few times this year. Maybe not. It might have just been that one team of the week card, but I've definitely seen the name before. LA Rams, so 96 overall, 96 speed. So off the rip, that's good. You know, 98 slash 99 speed, depending. Uh, 96 Excel, that's good. 92 agility is not bad. 96 jumping is really good. 96 play rec, 96 man. 93 zone, 92 price. Now, what I don't like about this card is that power up in Canada, he will get 99 man, which is good, but it only get 98 zone and 87 press. So he actually will for short the press and zone category. Now, yes, again, on a theme team, he won't be horrible. He'll get 99 speed, maybe get some other stuff up. But for the most part, guys, I personally think that this Darius Williams isn't all that great because, yes, he's going to be a man guy, but you can't press him that well against, you know, against, like, if you're versing a good team, like, for the most part, most people will. They're going to break off that press pretty easily. And then that zone won't get to 99, which is, you know, 98 zone is still good. But at this point in the year, we want to rock with 99 zone, right? I mean, that's just kind of the thing these days. But the card overall isn't horrible. I mean, as you guys see so far, you know, they've been good. Like, Ronald Jones has been good. Debo has been good. None of them are going to be God Squad guys, right? Because, of course, the 96 overalls, if 96 overalls could be on God Squads, 
it, it just wouldn't it wouldn't make sense we have 98s 99s 97 galore right now pending more 99s of course as well too next we have kyle duggar straight uh strong safety for the new england patriots now comes right after uh julian edelman officially retired so that's uh you know side note you know shout out to julian edelman you know great career I personally never thought he was the greatest receiver, but he, he was a hard worker, right? I mean, that's kind of how football is sometimes. He may not have had all the physical attributes. He may not have been the fastest, the tallest, the strongest, but he played well, and he played well with Tom Brady, right? It pays to play with him. Uh, is he a Hall of Famer? If you look at his stats, like from my not knowing Julian Edelman, if you look at like just, you know, some stats, some receptions, some clutch moments, what he did in the Super Bowl, how many rings he has, Super Bowl MVP, he may borderline be one. I personally not sure because again Eli Manning if you look at him without knowing Eli Manning you see all the passing all the touchdowns you see the fact that he was a Super Bowl MVP you see that he has two rings but again people don't think he has a Hall of Famer so I don't know I personally don't think he's a Hall of Famer but if you look at his stats I'm subjective from who the guy is maybe right anyways Kyle Duggar strong safety 96 speed 95 excel 91 tackle 93 play rec 95 pursuit 88 man 90 uh, zone and 94 power so speed we'll get to 98 99 so that's great right Excel 95 is great. Play rack will get to a 98. That's good. Man coverage will get to around a 93. That's good. Only 95 zone though. So here's the thing. He won't get maxed out zone. He won't get maxed out man. He's gonna. He seems more like kind of like a, yeah. He's a hybrid safety. He'll probably have some decent block shot behind the uh, scenes as well. Decent safety. Patriots team team really good. Budget team not horrible. I mean you're still gonna get some coverage. You're gonna get some hit power. Probably a bigger body as well. Uh, you know some block shed. For usual note lack of power up. Only 96 overall rising stars. All going to contribute to reasons why this card can't be on a god squad but we know that right we know that's already been the deal that's kind of just how things work with this stuff but anyways guys it is about it for the video that does cover everything so if we had to rank them guys from least least to greatest i would say who would i use last probably kyle duggar kyle duggar is probably the last one i would have on my team because of just no 99 zone 99 man coverage no you know no the speed isn't gonna you know everything everything's okay but no man no zone I personally wouldn't use Kyle Ducks. That's number five. Number four would be Robert Tanya. Now, the other reason he was above Darius Williams is because he can route run, he can catch, and he does have speed. So, he actually probably would have use over some guys, but... And you could use multiple tight ends, right? So, Robert Tanya comes at number four. Number three is Darius Williams. Darius Williams, again, no 99 zone, but he does get the 99 man, but no 90, no 90 press, no 99 zone. The car's not really going to be that usable, but he's pretty fast. Sometimes you can just go, you could just chase speed and man coverage, right? Top two, we got Debo, and we do have ronald jones now personally i'm probably rocking with so this is tough i'm gonna say they're, they're borderline tied right it comes down to kind of what you need but i'll, I'll rock with ronald jones because you are getting 99 speed 99 excel potentially with your know, great agility great change of direction decent break tack we're gonna have an insane budget back i'll put him at number one which means debo will be number two now debo again really good all raw all threshold 99 speed receiver with uh sprinter so he's not bad but Guys, that's about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, if you need coins, head over to Muck Coin Bank down below and use code PUBA at checkout. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.